Hello guys, today we will have a package review called Power Grid Live Wired Data Tables. It will generate a data table, beautiful data table based on Laravel Livewire, which will look something like this. With filtering, with edit buttons, with downloading of Excel and CSV, search and sort and stuff like that. And it's pretty easy to use. So let's review in this demo video, Livewire Power Grid. To install that, before that we need to install actually Livewire. So I have a demo project with just a simple page, which should have contained users table. In the controller, let's imagine I planned the list of users, paginated, and I thought to create a blade table in index blade, which is intentionally empty now. So let's install that package and see how it works. It's pretty easy if you use the default stuff, and then we will dive into a few customizations. Composer require live wire, live wire first. Then we go into the documentation of the package itself and do compose require power grid. Then we do publish the config. Let's publish everything, the config, the templates, maybe the views like this, languages, whatever. Maybe in the future we will need it. And then in the configure section, you need to add not only live wire styles and live wire scripts, but also power grid styles and power grid scripts. So in our main app blade, which is the main layout, in the top section before head, we copy and paste live wire styles and power grid styles. And at the bottom, live wire scripts and power grid scripts before body end, like this. Then we could configure Alpine, but it is configured by default, so we don't change anything here. We can choose our theme. By default, it's Tailwind or Bootstrap 5. I will leave default Tailwind because I used Laravel Breeze as a starter kit for this project. And that's all settings we need for now, for our demo project. Now, how to create that Power Grid table? There's an artisan command called PHP Artisan Power Grid Create. So I paste it here and it will open a wizard. What would be the name of your component? It doesn't matter that much. Let's call it users. Then where would be the data from? So it would be from model user. So we choose model. Then we specify the model name, which is the same as the example show models user. Should it create columns based on fillable property? In my fillable property, I do have everything filled in the user model. If we open it up, I have name, email, password, and also role ID. So, okay, I want those columns to be used. So yes, and that's it. And it created a file, app HTTP live wire users. It's a live wire component, but in fact, it's a power grid component. And to use it, all we need to do is copy live wire users from here and paste in wherever we want. In our case, it's index blade. So instead of that text, we do live wire users. We refresh the page. In my case, I have seated a few users like 10 or so, and we have a table. Pretty simple, right? So I didn't configure anything basically, but I still can search. So for example, if I do test here, it is searchable and then I can remove that filter. I can search for the email as well and other fields and it still works. Then I can also go to the second page. I can also download the CSV or Excel, so it all works. So see how easy it is to use that package, but there are a few customizations I would like to make. So for example, role ID comes default from the database table of users. And instead of having one or two, I would like to use role name. So how does that package handle relationships? By default, if we open that component of users PHP, the data source is defined as this. So user query. But if you want to add more fields, you can join. So you need to manually specify the join. In our case would be join roles, roles table on users role ID equals roles ID. And then you define what fields to return. Select users everything and roles name as role, for example, like this. And then you can define the column. The columns are defined in two places, actually. Add the column, so just list off the columns, and then each column is defined with its own conditions and what to search for and stuff like that. So we change role ID to the field called role, like this. We don't need any input range for search. So instead of role ID, we have role. And in here, we also rename that to role. And if we refresh the table now, we refresh and we have an error. Of course, the select should be 
comma like this so list of users and then roles name now we refresh and it should work yep and we do have user or admin here so this is how to deal if you want to have relationships in the table and next I want to show you a few customizations of that table, additional features. And I love the approach of the packages that include those customizations in the example. So for example, it generated live wire component and the actions method are here as well, but commented out. So all you need to do is actually uncomment those methods. So actions for the row, what could it be? Edit and destroy, right? So we will enable edit. I will just comment the destroy. For edit, it would be just an edit button that would lead to a certain route. In my case, route is users.edit with ID as a parameter. And we also need to include that button like this. PHP Storm will add that in the use section for me on top. And that's it. We refresh the table and we have the edit button. And I haven't created the controller so it would throw an error or another thing. It's by default, it's showing in target blank. So we can define, for example, for every button target empty for example and there are more features how you can customize the button so if we refresh now it opens in the same browser tab so no target blank okay so this is how you can define the buttons for the row now the buttons for the column and editing the column itself in line how to do that easy it's also commented out at the bottom so there is update method and there's also update messages so let's return them to live PHP storm underlines this one. So this should be probably included like this. And then to enable a certain field to be updated, all we need to do is in the column add, for example, let's make it a name, edit on click. You can also pass the parameter of true or false about permissions. So whether logged in user has the permission to edit. So for example, auth user is admin or something or role id equals admin or something like that so if that returns true then it will be possible to edit that so if we refresh the page now refresh the table you can see it's underlined right and when we click here we can edit it inside test user 2 for example and when we click enter it is updated in the database the only downside here I've noticed is that it doesn't refresh the table itself. So the updated data would be refreshed only if I click refresh in a browser. Maybe there is some method to refresh that automatically, but I haven't found that in the documentation. But still, inline editing works. And again, it is all configured for you. You just need to uncomment some things and find one method to use in the documentation. Documentation is pretty good, actually. So you can find more features and configurations here if you want to play around with that component. But if you're not that familiar with Livewire and how it works, I have a course for you. I have a course, one of my 22 courses on Teachable. It's called Practical Laravel Livewire from scratch, this one. So you can take that course to understand how Livewire works. Or if you want more examples, not only just the data table, I have a special project where I gathered 33 live wire components with various functionalities like upvoting, downvoting posts without reloading the page. Also there's data table, but it's more simple than this component. Then there's live chart, then there's bulk editing and stuff like that. So if you want to dive deep into 33 components, go to livewirekit.com. And that's it for this time. See you guys in other videos.